air defense operations were the most important aspect of Germany's homeland defense during World War II. Allowing the Allied bomber forces to freely enter their airspace would result in significant damage to targets such as airports and munitions factories. However, the German Air Force had insufficient fighter aircraft and anti-aircraft artillery to meet the operational requirements. In this situation, Germany began designing early surface-to-air missiles in the hope that this groundbreaking weapon would help the German military overcome their predicament. In September 1941, Germany test flew the Mi-163 rocket interceptor. This aircraft, powered by a rocket engine, had a rapid climb rate and a much higher flight speed than the propeller-driven fighters of that time. However, this aircraft had many unresolved issues, such as excessive fuel consumption and a limited flight time of only a few minutes for the pilot, as well as a lack of suitable weapons. By 1943, German designers realized that the Mi-163 was not suitable for the role of an interceptor. So they proposed a surface-to-air missile development plan, which was one of Germany's many missile projects, codenamed Dragon's Bane. Dr. Hermann Wurster of Messerschmitt proposed his own design for the missile. His missile's operational mode was not to target and launch at the enemy, like other missiles, but rather to carry a heavy warhead and launch it ahead of the bomber formation. The warhead would detonate upon approaching the formation, causing damage to a larger area and destroying the bombers. He proposed five different designs, from FR-1 to FR-5, with FR-5 being considered the most suitable. The missile was similar to the Mi-163, with a short and stout body, swept back short wings, and vertical fins on the top and bottom. The missile's maneuverability relied on the control surfaces on the rear of the wings and the vertical fins. To save materials, the missile utilized wood and plywood. The missile was launched from a rail, which was mounted on a modified 88mm anti-aircraft gun carriage. The missile had a diameter of 0.88 meters and a warhead weighing 500 kilograms. The planned warheads included one with a 25mm incendiary round, one with 550 small rocket projectiles installed inside the warhead, which would be launched upon detonation, with a lethal radius of up to 500 meters. The third warhead relied solely on explosive impact to damage the target, reportedly causing fatal injuries within a radius of 45 meters. The missile was equipped with a Walter R1-210B rocket engine at the rear, capable of generating 2,150 kilograms of thrust. Its structure was similar to the engine of the V-2 missile. Another improved Walter rocket engine was also available as an option, which produced 2,500 kilograms of thrust for the first 56 seconds before decreasing to 1,500 kilograms. By this time, the missile had reached a certain altitude, allowing for slower speeds and increased operational accuracy. The missile was also equipped with four Schmidting 109-533 rocket engines, which provided auxiliary propulsion, generating a total thrust of up to 7,000 kilograms. The missile was designed as a subsonic weapon, flying towards its target at a speed of 804 kilometers per hour. There were plans to increase its speed to 1.6 to 2.0 Mach. Various guidance methods were attempted for the missile, including radio remote control, infrared guidance, and acoustic guidance. The designers also intended to install an active radar in the front of the warhead, which, considering the technological capabilities at that time, radio remote control was the most practical option. The biggest challenge for Dragon's Bane was how to accurately approach the bomber formation from the front and detonate the warhead after reaching the operational altitude. Therefore, proximity fuses were also considered for installation. Dragon's Bane may not have been the best surface-to-air missile project at the time, but it had a relatively high feasibility. If it had been put into service, its 500-kilogram warhead would have left a lasting impression on Allied air crews. However, by 1945, the situation had changed, and the German Air Force focused its efforts on projects such as the Mi-262 jet fighter. Messerschmitt could only continue with some simple work on their own. But by March, it was clear that there was no hope, 
and the company ceased development. Starting in 1944, Germany produced approximately 60 Dragon's Bane surface-to-air missiles, with 38 used for experimentation. Only a small number survived, and one is currently on display at the Royal Air Force Museum in the United Kingdom.